The price of a motorcycle is determined by its structural integrity, aesthetic appeal, and technical performance. The idea of producing a certain model in a limited quantity also has an impact on pricing. So in this video, we are going to discuss the top most expensive bikes. But before starting the video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. Number 10. Suzuki AEM Carbon Fiber Hayabusa $200,000. Suzuki released the 1,300 Hayabusa in 1999 and followed it up with the AEM Carbon Fiber Hayabusa in 2008. Easily capable of reaching speeds of over 188 miles per hour, the Hayabusa claimed the title of the world's fastest production motorcycle, a distinction it still holds to this day. It probably would have shot for more ways to destroy roads had it not made nannies in Europe overly nervous to slap a street legal speed limit of 186 miles per hour for anything that shows movement in the road with something resembling two wheels. Experts hail the Hayabusa's all-around performance, citing how it does not drastically compromise other qualities like handling, comfort, reliability, noise, fuel economy, or price in pursuit of a single function. Number 9. Ducati Testa Strata NCR, Macchia Nera Concept $225,000. In comparison to the other bikes already on the list, this motorcycle is head and shoulders superior in terms of technological performance, designs, frames, and outlook. However, it cannot match the other models currently on the list in terms of speed. Since its debut, this motorcycle has only been made in a very small number, which raises its price. The parts are made with titanium and carbon fiber materials to render them impressively lightweight at 297 pounds. Number 8. Ducati Desmosidisi D16 RRNCR M16 $232,500 NCR starts with a $72,500 Desmosidisi D16 RR and reworks it to make it lighter and more powerful. The result? The $232,500 road missile NCR Malona 16. Where does the money go? Carbon fiber everywhere on the M16. Check, including load-bearing parts such as the frame, swing arm, and wheels. The fuel tank, fairing, tail and fenders are carbon too. Mechanical parts are either titanium, right down to the bolts, or avionic grade aluminum. A stock 989cc V4 Ducati motor sends around 175 horsepower to the back wheel, but NCR has tuned the M16 to send 200 plus up to the tarmac. Current generation Moto P suspension helps get that power down, and the M16 also uses race style electronics with traction control, data recording, and user selectable maps. Number 7. Ecos FFE Tai XX Titanium Series, $300,000. The FE Tai XX is powered by a 2,409cc billet aluminum engine transmitting 228 pounds of power to the rear wheel. Carbon fiber has been used abundantly on the bike to keep the weight low. The saddle has been handcrafted by Posh Italian Leather Virtuoso Berluti. Number 6. Dodge Tomahawk V10 Superbike. $550,000. If you think the Dodge Tomahawk V10 Superbike suspiciously looks like a four-wheel Dodge squeezed on both sides, you won't be alone. This Tomahawk V10 Superbike is a strange beast indeed, and not just because it uses a V10 four-stroke Dodge Viper engine that could easily power up any chassis with more than two wheels attached to it to give you the feeling of being dragged by a fleet of 500 supercharged ponies looking forward to storm the Bastille. Now talk about the soul of two-wheel steeds. As introduced in 2003, the one-of-a-kind Tomahawk was operational and road-ready, but not fully road-tested. At the minimum, this Tomahawk is capable of reaching 60 miles per hour in about 2.5 seconds with a theoretical top speed of 400 miles per hour. In practice, it's hard to imagine anyone willing to prove it. Number 5. Harley-Davidson Cosmic Starship 1.5 million dollars what used to occupy first place in many top 10 lists of most expensive big bikes is now only good for a fifth position however it claims to have been sold at 3.5 million dollars and is now up for sale at 12 million dollars 
If that happens, it should recapture the crown it once had, or not, since we don't imagine the rest of the entries here would remain with static prices days ahead too. Harley-Davidson appears to think so, and in their Cosmic Starship, they partnered with the famed rebel cosmic existentialist artist Jack Armstrong to apply yellow and red paint over a Harley V-Rod and originally sold it at a flat $1 million after much fanfare broadcast all over the world. Number 4. Hildebrand and Wolfmuller. $3.5 million. History is expensive, and at $3.5 million your purchase would send you back 124 years ago to 1894 when this first production motorcycle appeared on the scene. This momentous event started sending the flesh and blood steeds out of fashion, reinventing themselves as an emblem of the refined gentry, while the special breed of men simply moved on and transferred their affections to the two-wheeled metallic petrol-guzzling steeds that took over the roads. If you manage to get your hands on this and want to literally have a go at history by testing how it handles on the road, better watch for a bit of fun fact. With neither clutch nor pedal, be prepared to run and jump with this ancient one. Number 3. Ikasi ES-1 Spirit – $3.6 million Ikasi ES-1 Spirit is not a regular motorbike. Two things define this motorbike. First, there is a complete absence of a chassis framework. Secondly, there is a rear suspension. The swing arm is both attached to the gearbox itself and the front suspension is attached to the engine. The Ecos Spirit is a limited edition titanium motorcycle and the third most expensive motorcycle in the world with a price tag of $3.6 million. The limited edition Ecos Spirit has a powerful engine that makes the rider reach a speed of 370 kilometers. Number 2. 1949 E90 AJS Porcupine, $7 million. AJS. A bike manufacturer with a distinguished past and a winning track record could only construct four Porcupine units in 1949 due to early financial difficulties. The Porcupine is a motorcycle with an open frame, a 500cc aluminum alloy engine, and a unique type of shock called jam pot shocks. Before being made available to a limited group of aficionados, the motorcycle spent 20 years in the Coventry National Motorcycle Museum. Number 1. Neiman Marcus Limited Edition Fighter, $11 million. When the Neiman Marcus Limited Edition Fighter first hit the market, it cost just under $110,000, and I don't believe anyone gave them much of a chance to rise to eventually take the top spot on the motorcycle list. One of the rarest motorcycles on the market is the Neiman Marcus Limited Edition Fighter. The bike's chassis is made from a single piece of metal and has a top speed of 190 miles per hour. It is street legal and has only been sold in 45 retail sales since its release. This power is produced by the vehicle's 120C 45-degree air-cooled V-twin engine and is paired with body components comprised of titanium, aluminum, and carbon fiber. Thank you guys for watching. If you want more videos like this, make sure to like the video and hit subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next video.